Good day, folks. Scully here. I'm coming to you from Scully's Garage. This is my first try at this, so I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we'll see. It's a garage and a half, which I share with my wife's car. So, as a result, everything I have is on wheels so that I can get it out of the way so she can get her car in here. I'm a retired automotive and heavy duty mechanic, general maintenance welder. And uh, my passion is really working on motorcycles now. Uh, I work on my own bike, plus uh, I have some buddies that don't have a place to work on their bike, so they bring it by. I do some light fabrication for myself, for neighbors, what have you, just as, uh, to help people out. So to start off, uh, we're going to start in this corner here behind the trash cans is my exhaust piping. Um, I can use it either on automobiles or on motorcycles and I basically just run the pipe out that port in the garage door there and I can uh, run a vehicle in here with the door closed in the winter time. This is my uh, chemical paint uh, kind of storage. The um, top fuel dragster in the f picture on the front there I volunteer with the, the folks that own that car as a member of the pit crew and uh, it's very interesting and a lot of fun. My welding table it all folds up I made it out of a two-wheel cart when it's all unfolded and everything it's really nice and stable uh, I built those two little stabilizing jacks on the base of it there this is my uh, parts storage cabinet here. I don't keep a lot of parts, uh, just bits and bobs. My made in China bandsaw. I've done, uh, well, I, when I first bought it, I had to do a few repairs to it to make it serviceable. And I've done a few modifications to it, most of which I found on YouTube, various channels on YouTube. And uh, I thought up a couple of my own. I was thinking if this video, if there's enough interest in this video, I may do videos on some of the modifications and that I've done, repairs, modifications I've done on my equipment. Because storage is at an absolute premium in this shop, I make use of every void. So underneath the uh, band saw, there's a circular saw. That black toolbox under that two, two shelf cart there is carpentry tools. I, I don't work with wood. In fact, I probably couldn't drive a nail straight if my life depended on it, but they were given to me by my granddad, so they've got some sentimental value there. I flipped the top shelf of that two shelf cart over and put a piece of three quarter inch plywood on it to make a work surface and I mounted my bench top drill press, bench grinder and my parts washer. It made it a little top heavy so I built some outriggers on the front and back side of it. Now it's really stable, got no problems with it. I've got a Victor portable torch. Um, it's not very big but it for all I use it for, it's perfect. My Made in China press, again, I've done a few modifications to it. Probably one of the biggest ones is I built this press brake. Built a mount on the base of the press to store it when it's not in use. My shop vac, the red or orange and uh, black buckets behind there. One's got floor dry in it and the other one's got uh, glass beads. I've got a small handheld glass beater. My creeper, it just uh, mounts on the side of my workbench. Workbench I built myself. It is lightweight, but for the type of work I do, it works just fine. That computer there, it's 
I can connect to the Wi-Fi. I can order parts online. I can, uh, you know, look up things, whatever I need to do. Watch YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, this workbench has uh, got about a two degree slope to the back. There's an eaves trough there. So if you're working on something oily, it all drains into that eaves trough and eventually it ends up draining into that white bucket in the back with the red top. The red top is actually a screen. I can put used oil filters on there to, to uh, let them drain out before I throw them in the trash. Years ago, I bought this Norco Made in USA motorcycle lift and I'll, I paid quite a bit of money for it, but it was worth every penny. It's a really good lift. That computer stand comes right off of there. It's just clamped to a one inch square stub on the side of the workbench. So if I need the full work surface of the bench, I can take it right off of there. Uh, just a few souvenirs. A uh, little roll around seat. And then I got a floor jack there. My toolbox, I've had that toolbox forever. I had it when I was an apprentice. This cabinet at the back's a library. Being old school, they have a lot of books, manuals. It's in there. I put that ventilation fan in here to evacuate fumes when I'm welding. I heat the shop with this tube heater. It's just radiant heat, so I had to put a fan up to kind of move the air around in here a little bit. Uh, my chop saw. Again, I built the stand for that. I'm making use of the void underneath. I keep my belt sander and my jack stands and a little tiny bench grinder there that I use to sharpen tungsten. A roller stand for the chop saw, a band saw. This engine hoist, I bought obviously to hoist things, heavy things around in the shop. Put, built a couple of shelves on it, one to put my uh, RV batteries, my motorcycle battery on in the winter time so that I can maintain them over the winter months. Little shelf for the battery charger. Ramps, some tunes for, Apple tunes for the shop. Uh, my welder, it's a Miller, Millermatic uh, 215. I built the shelf, the stand for it. Again, making use of all the voids. I got my spool gun for welding aluminum in the back there, a little accessory kit, my disc grinder, my fill rod for tigging. It's a MIG TIG and stick machine, 120, 240 volt. This is my air compressor. I mean, it works good for what I use it for. The only downside to it is, is it's it's uh, an oilless compressor, so it's really noisy. It'll just about drive you out of the place when you're running it. I made some mods to it. Probably really noticeable mod is the moisture drain. I pulled it from underneath the vessel out where you can actually get at it. My scrap metal bin. And it's just that, just scraps. If I have a project in the shop, there's a couple places in town I could buy material specific to the project and then any scraps I have left over, I just throw them in that little basket there and use it up on small, small jobs. Probably looking like uh, I might have had a uh, little military service. I was did a hitch in the Navy when I was a young guy. This is my Craft X 706 made in China lathe. Again, because it was made in a hurry, I had to do some repairs to it initially to make it serviceable. And I've done a few modifications. And I mentioned before that a lot of the modifications I got off of YouTube channels that are out there, there's a lot of good ideas. I refurbished that little toolbox in the bottom there to keep my tooling and collets and 
I got a little uh, mill attachment that I can put on my cross slide to do small milling jobs. Uh, my four jaw chuck and facing plate, they don't fit in the toolbox, obviously. That stand I built, it's uh, a torsional beam or spanning beam type of a design. Because the uh, lathe is on wheels and I move it around, the stand takes up all the torsional twist and the, the, the bed of the lathe stays true. It's a marine design. Uh, they use it on some ships where the ship, you know, the ships twist as they roll in the sea and, and it, their lathe beds stay true. Just a few toys of mine there. refrigerator, keep a few bevies in the shop. The last few years of my heavy duty mechanic career I worked on uh, GE LM6000 gas turbines. There's some fire memorabilia in the shop as well. I've got 35 plus years as a casual, paid on call and volunteer firefighter. I transferred around a lot so it was a little different wherever I was at. My can crusher, that uh, white tub at the bottom there, that's, uh, that, that'll hold 48, at least 48 crushed beer cans. The ladies out there may recognize that as for what it really is, but it works good for what I'm using it for. Some welding screens, my scooter, I ordered this scooter in uh, 2004. It's a 2005 model year fire electric glide firefighter special edition. And it's been all the way from Northern Alberta to mile zero of US one in Key West, Florida, and a whole lot of places in between. It's my baby. In the corner here is my oil dump, it's uh, just a five gallon bucket. There's a guy in town that has a mechanical shop that he heats his shop with uh, used motor oil so I can take the, the pail over there and dump it. Helps him out. I changed all my lighting out in my shop to LED and uh, it really makes it nice and bright in here. Might be screwing this video up a little bit on a roll, but. So, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thanks very much and have a good day.